what you're looking at right here is you're seeing all these lines. Now what I did is clean all the cracks out. Uh, gel coat is basically like glass. That's why I call it fiber glass. And the gel coat, one more time, is a very, very hard substance. When the impact, bang, like that bang right there, hits, it shatters just like a piece of glass. Okay? And you've got to cut those shatters out, each individual shatter out. So I went ahead and did that, and I only went down as far as the gel coat is. I, I did it very minimal where I didn't go through to the fiberglass. Now, the proper way to fill these in, okay, the proper way to fill those in is not to use Bondo. Okay, now that we have grinded out all of our bad spots and all our uh, shatter cracks, okay, where the uh, gel coat is shattered, what we're going to do is we're going to fill those in. Now the way that we're going to fill those in is we are going to make a fiberglass compound. What you want to do is take your fiberglass mat, not the cloth, don't use cloth, it has to be mat that's a uh, breakdown material like this. Go ahead and stick it in here in your bowl. Okay. You don't want to use Bondo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use fiberglass resin. Now you can buy this over at, uh, Lowe, at Home Depot. Lowe's also sell some. Do not use the Lowe's brand. That is Elmer's. Elmer's glue brand. Uh, all purpose fiberglass resin. You'd, you'd want to use the Bondo brand or uh, Marine Tech. You can buy Marine Tech over at uh, your local uh, paint and body shop supply store. And they also sell Evercoat brand, which is even the best so we're you can take buy. Our, re our hardener, okay? And we're going to take our resin. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix this together and we're going to make a paste, okay? Okay, what we're going to do now is we got our resin mix. I got a couple brushes right here, as you see. Now, if you come over here, you can see our mess we got. Now, I got my heat lamps on it for a reason, all right? These aren't heat lamps, but it's putting off a lot of heat. And we had a big mess right here, so we're going to go ahead and try to fill some of that in. Now, I didn't take the paint off due to the fact that uh, the resin and uh, fiberglass mist will not stick to the paint and it'll be easy to uh, take off. So what I do is I take my paste and I just go ahead and stick it in just like you're seeing. You see what I'm doing there, Steve? Yep. Okay. And what I'm doing, I'm, not, I'm using it just like I would use a putty knife, see? I'd rather have it a little bit too much than not enough. And right now I'm just concentrating on filling in. If you notice, this one here is a real pit bear. So I'm pulling it down and I'm pulling it back up because I want that. There you go. Okay. And you are going to get some runnage off of the liquid of the resin, but don't worry. It's not going to hurt your car and you'll be fine. You see what I'm doing there? I'm working it in, bud. See? If you notice, this is already getting hard, bud. Honest. I see a little spot right here. He's got his rubber gloves on, he's ready to work. So, we're gonna let that dry, okay? We'll come back, then we're gonna take our DA sander with 36 grit, we'll go ahead and start molding that out, we'll get it all imperfected, finish the bodywork, and hopefully, if Trevor will let me, okay, I'm over here now, Steve. Why do you keep looking over there? Why are you doing that, bud, when I'm over here? If Trevor will let me, I will hopefully finish what I'm trying to do today. Get our wreck in primer. Hey, what's up out there? Okay, uh, this has been drying approximately for about three hours now and it's pretty much solid as a rock. And if you look right here, when it was soft, I went ahead and scored that. 
and to make sure that you can tell that it's uh, good and hard, you can see that it breaks apart very carefully. You want to make sure that this is, I know it looks ugly, okay? I fucking know that. I know that it looks like shit. I know it looks ugly. Don't worry. We're not even keeping it on there. So once that's done, and like I said, if you notice, okay, if you can see what that's doing there, that will not stick to the paint, okay? And sometimes it's wise to go around, okay? So I'm not worried about the paint being bad underneath, okay? Even though that we're gonna sand all that and prime it, okay? It's gonna make it a lot easier. And that's, look at there, look at that. Can you see where it's popping up? Because it's not sticking, see? Look, see, see there? It's only sticking inside where all the little gaps are. So, the first thing I'm gonna do Okay, because so I'm going to take my grinder right here. Now this is a variable speed grinder. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start grinding this down. See how thin that is? Watch here. See how that's just coming right off the paint? Okay, so if you watch close when I grind it, you're going to see that I filled all those uh, gaps in that I grinded out. I'm just gonna do that to the whole thing. I'm gonna get it all, I'm gonna get all this fiberglass taken off where all we have is the, uh, just the fill-in part where we filled in our uh, gouges, cracks, whatever you call it. Then I'm gonna take my DA sander, if you look right here, and it's got 36 grit on it, see? And what I'm gonna do is, See that piece fly off of there right there? That's, that's what we want. Right see, if you look right there, you can see, you can see where it's filling it in, see? And that's what we want to do. See right there? All right. Now, I didn't go too far and I didn't go not at, uh, too much. I'm down to my gel coat, so I know that I need to stop. Now you can see that this has all been filled in. I got a couple air bubbles right here, and that's not going to hurt to put the bondo on those because most of it's filled in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of all this right here. I'll go ahead and mold that out, get it back to where it was, and using a fiberglass uh, type bondo mix is a lot better than using Dynaglass or bondo because this will never shrink. It'll always stay that way. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna fill all that in and then feather it out just like it was a dent. Fiberglass is a lot different to work with than uh, metal, okay? Because you can actually literally take your uh, sander and make a dent in it or a dip or an imperfection and the only way to fix that is to fill it back in, okay? So you can look at this like it's fiberglass welding. We actually welded all that back in, okay? This is Pete. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this done. We'll be back.